Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video today is going to be a small haul from Amazon. I did get a few things in that I wanted to show you guys. It's kind of a small haul with just a couple of books and some cases that I got to um, put my colored pencils in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We will start with the coloring books. So first of all, we have Chibi Girls by Jade Summer. And I think a lot of us have seen this book because many, many of us have it. I will do a flip through of this book. Although there are very, very many, many flip throughs, but that's okay. I can throw mine in. And I'll show you just a couple of the pages. Now she's got um, where there's duplicate pages. So you get a first set and then you get a second set. I think there's 25 different images and then you get a second set if memory serves me correctly. But look at how cute these are. <laughs> I've had my eye on this book for a while and am really glad that I was able to get this one. So there are a few of the images in that one. I'll do a more detailed flip through if you guys want to see that. Next we have this Lacey Sunshine's um, Moonbeams and Fairy Tale Dreams Coloring Book, and this is by Heather Valentin. So this is another one of those like the flower pot hatchlings and stuff that we've all gotten to be so crazy about. And so here is the back of the book. And I'll just show you a few of the pages, but these are very, very cute, of course. I love her pictures. I really do. I love her designs. Love her artwork, they're adorable. And I will also do a flip through of this book if you guys want to see that. My goal actually is to get through all of my collection and do flip throughs and eventually get them uploaded, but that will take me a long time to do because I have a lot of books in my collection. So here is a few pages in this Lacey Sunshine's coloring book, very cute. And then the last coloring book that we got is Beauty and the Beast by Fabiana Atanasio. And this is one that everybody's been crazy about getting. I mean, I have seen so many people pick this up. Um, and it's upside down. I've seen so many people pick this up um, <laughs> lately. And uh, yeah, so, it, and I guess on Amazon, it was out of stock for a very, very long time. I remember a friend of mine had to pick hers up from uh, from France. Well, not pick it up, but have it sent from, from France. So this has a fold-out dust jacket cover thing that you can color in. And I'll just show you a few of these beautiful pages in here that she has. Now the paper feels a little bit different than her other books. Um, it feels a, quite a bit thinner. I mean, I have her Snow White book, her Alice in Wonderland, her Pinocchio, Peter Pan, and the paper feels a bit different in this book. Now, um, I think the writing on the front is also a little bit different than what we've seen in the past, and I think if I heard correctly, I think the publisher of this has been changed or something. So that's why you get the slightly different paper and the slightly different layout, I guess. So now this has a removable poster, but I'm not going to take that out and unfold it. You also get this fold out cover again that you can that you can color cover that you can color. And I'm not going to bother unfolding that poster because I will never get it back in there. <laughs> All right, so that's all the coloring books, and I will do flip throughs of any of those books that you guys might want to see. Just let me know. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get on to the cases. Now, I got um, quite a few of these, these pencil cases. These are from U-Shares. Now, there's also BTKSY cases, and those are quite popular. But I got quite a few of these ones from U-Shares, and these are, um, you know, there's there's quite a few different colors. This is more of, it kind of feels like a PU leather, almost kind of canvasy sort of feel to it. Now, it's got several different compartments, and it has, each compartment has its own zipper, which can be a little tedious, but I can understand why they did this, um, because if you had, like, one whole zipper in this it would it would get a little bit bulky so um, each compartment has its own zipper that we're going to go ahead and undo 
And this case uh, holds, I think, 72 pencils. I got quite a few of these smaller cases that hold 72 pencils. And um, they are in here like a book. Now these are, what do I have in here? This case here holds my ink tents. And as you can see, it opens up like a book. I've already put my pencils in it because I've been using these. But I decided to show these in the haul video because um, the, it, all these things kind of came at different times and stuff. And I just never did show them. So I wanted to show them all at once. So even though this isn't a haul video, I have been using this for a little bit. And I really like, I really like these cases. I think they're going to hold up nicely. And they hold, the, uh, they hold the pencils really, really nicely. And um, they're easy to get to. The only downside is zipping and unzipping all these compartments one at a time. It gets a little it gets a little tedious. But that's okay. We will we will make do. So the next one I have is this pink one. As you can see, it's it's the same thing. These cases are all from U Shares. And it's you can kind of tell it's got this little design on the front of it. It's very pretty. And this also holds 72 pencils. It's got a little strap on here that you can hold it by. Uh, can you guys see that? It's got a little strap there that you can hold it by. So we'll go ahead and open these up. And again, this, these compartments open up one at a time. It's got their own zippers. So we open it up and here are my, these are my platinum pencils that I have in here. Now I think, I think I had it upside down. So these are my platinum pencils that I have in here. These are more of my budget-friendly pencils that I put in this case. But I needed to get them out of those awful tins because uh, they just they just needed to be in an alternative storage solution. That's what I have my platinum pencils in. Next is this purple one from U Shares. Same kind of deal. And open it up. And this holds my Color Soft pencils from Derwent. These are like the um, kind of the equivalent of the ink tents, uh, but just in, in a traditional colored pencil form. Ink tents are the watercolor permanent ink kind of kind of pencils where these are just regular colored pencils from Derwent. So those are my color soft pencils that I have in this purple one. Then in this light pink case in here, we'll go ahead and open it up. Again, it's the same case from U Shares, but just in a different color. And again, it has its own, uh, each one has its own zipper compartments. These hold my Luminance pencils from Karen Dosh. So these are all of my Luminance pencils from, from Karen Dosh that I have in, in this case. All right, so I have a couple of bigger cases as well. This is also from U Shares, and this is more, uh, whereas the others kind of felt more canvassy like, um, this one definitely feels like uh, this is a PU leather or leatherette kind of case. Um, this holds um, 120 pencils and in here now as you can see these also has have their own zipper compartments. There's three of them and sometimes the little zippers get lost down in the down in the little uh, cracks in there so you have to go fishing. <laughs> um, but there's three zipper compartments in this one and each one has its own. So we're going to open it up and I will show you what is in here. Now these host, host, <laughs> these hold my polychromos from Faber-Castell. In here I have my polychromos. Look at these beautiful pencils in this case. It feels so good to get them all out of the, out of the tins. I kid you not, guys. It is so nice to get these out of the tins. Because it's, these, it's just easier to, it's just easier to work with in cases like this. And the tins are very cumbersome and very, um, they're, they're just very cumbersome and, and very, um, very tedious to work with. Now I've also got this case and oddly enough, like this one seems like it's the same color as the other one. It was weird because when I was looking on Amazon, there was one that was marked as a turquoise and it looked a little bit more green. And then there was one that said, um, 
aqua or something like that. And, um, or no, the turquoise was more, no, there was a turquoise and then there was a blue. So I thought the turquoise, the turquoise looked like it was a little bit more green, <laughs> but it kind of turns out that it's a, a bluish color. And then I got a blue one and it seems like this blue and the turquoise are pretty much the same color. <laughs> so, um, that was kind of weird, but in a way, that's okay, because I know that in these cases, I have Faber-Castell pencils. And I can tell which is which in the cases. Which, let me go ahead and get this open, and I will show you what I have in here. Okay. Now, these hold my Al Albrecht Durer. Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils from Faber-Castell. And I can tell that these are the watercolor ones because these are ridged. These are ridged pencils, whereas the polychromos are round. They have a round barrel where these are ridged. Um, they're hexagonal, hexagonal, ridged, whatever you want to call it. Hexagonal, um, hexagonal um, pencils. Uh, so I will, I know exactly which ones are in each case is because polychromos are round. These are hexagonal pencils, but, um, they are pretty much the same colored case, but I do know that with these being the same colored case, I know right away that these hold, uh, my two sets of, of, uh, Faber-Castell pencils. So, uh, that is a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing. Now this last case that I have, and I, I might have showed this in a video, I don't think I showed it in a haul, although I've had it for quite a while. Ah, there go my books. I have had it for quite a while, and this is this pink one from BTKSY, and this one here holds my Prismacolors. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now this one just has one zipper. So these hold my Prismacolor pencils. So there is one side here and that opens up like this to reveal this over here. So there's these pencils right there. And then that closes up. And then you get the same thing on this side. That opens up to reveal this. That opens up to reveal that. And then we have these pencils right there. And then you just close it up and, and zip it, and away we go. Now, this also has a strap on it that you can carry it with, like so. But I really like these cases because these will hold everything secure and safe, and I don't have to worry about anything falling out. Each of these has, um, each has its own um, pencil slot, so I don't have to worry about um, anything falling out, like when I take out a pencil, uh, because it's not snug enough to hold it. So I like that each pencil has its own little loop in there to hold it snug and secure. Now I do need to pick up a couple more because I have to get my Pablos out of their tin and I've also got to get one for my Tombos. And then I will be all cut up with <laughs> pencil cases for the time being. Uh, I do have a couple of really, really inexpensive sets that I will eventually get out of their little uh, plastic thing, but um, those are not going to be as big of a priority because I wanted to get cases for my nicer ones that, that I have, um, just to get them out of the tins and, and stuff and keep them so that they're easy to get to. So I will be picking up a couple more cases as soon as I can. When, um, when the uh, fairies can come and visit me again, I will be picking up a couple more cases. And yeah, so that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. And go ahead and give this a thumbs up, hit that like button, leave a comment, and tell me what you think. Subscribe to my channel. And while you are at it, hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. You all have a great day, and we will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.